let's talk about the integration patterns as a um, enterprise architect you need to know uh, the fundamentals of integration patterns of any system not only Salesforce um, the first one is remote process invocation and request and reply Salesforce invokes the process on a remote system wait for the completion of that process and then tracks the state based on the response from the remote system. So you'd wait for the system and then it, it is um, synchronous. It needs a response. Maybe uh, example is getting data from another system or, or you, you want to ensure that it is correct or not. The, um, the process is processed or not. Um, the second one is uh, remote Process invocation, fire and forget. That means asynchronous. You call a process and just forget it, and they'll do on their own uh, time. Salesforce invokes a process in a remote system but does not wait for completion of the process. Instead, instead the remote process receives and acknowledges the request and then hands off control back to the Salesforce. And it acknowledges the request, but it returns the um, control back to the cell for cell for doesn't wait for the uh, result or the <coughs> error code or the return code. The third one is batch data synchronization. It's, a, it's from old school. You have done it old school. Um, it has been around for decades and decades. Data stored in lighting system is created or refresh reflects the data uh, updates from an external system. And when changes from lighting platform are sent to the external system, updates in either direction are done in a batch manner. So when you update a file system and it's getting marked, uh, uh, the data reflects on the other system. The, the next one is remote calling. Data stored in lighting platform is created, received, updated, and deleted by a remote system. Remote calling means data stored in lightning platform is created, retrieved, updated, or deleted by the ex external system. External system sign in, create, or retrieve, and update by the external system itself and you do vice versa for, uh, to ex internal system also external system you know that's a remote calling from one system perspective ui update based on data changes the fifth one the salesforce user interface must be automatically updated as part of a result of changes of a salesforce data that means if you are viewing on a Salesforce screen, the data resides in an external system, the data gets updated on your system. So many things are happening behind the scene. So it grabs the data, authentic authorization happen, authentication happen and grabs the data and displays the data on your screen. From user perspective, everything is transparent. Um, the, the next one is the data virtualization. Salesforce access external data in real time. This removes the need to persist data in Salesforce and then reconcile the data between the Salesforce and the external system. Data virtualization is as it's, a, it's virtualizing. The Salesforce accesses the external data in real time. At real time it accesses and this removes the need to persist data in Salesforce. That means you don't have to persist the data in Salesforce and the data is residing in an external system. And then reconcile the data between the Salesforce and the external system. Then reconciling the data between um, system and the external system. Uh, the, the, um, maybe you have to persist some data, related data, but not the data itself. Uh, the reconciling the data between uh, that's what reconciling means 
to keep in sync in both systems you know uh, it may be a file system data related data or anything um, so that is the um, six um, uh, integration pattern and practices uh, yeah 